Today we're going to unlock my L5P using the HP Tuners E41 ECU upgrade tool that allows you to unlock your ECU at home. Stick around. Hey, listen, this is one of those videos I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to want to watch it until the end. There's some tips and tricks because you might have some bumps in the road and I talk about them at the end whenever I get done with the entire process and it may save you some headaches down the road. Initially, I thought that I had uh, an issue where my ECU wasn't responding. I worked through it. It was, you know, all me things like that. So watch the entire video. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage. That is correct. We are unlocking the ECU in the Duramax here at the house. I'm going to walk you through the steps using the new E41 upgrade tool. It's going to work on 2019 and later Duramaxes. So if you've got one, you don't have to send in your ECU anymore. Now, that doesn't mean you can't. You still have the options of going out there, sending in your ECU, are buying one and all those things. But this gives you another way of doing it and doing it this way means that you don't have any downtime. It takes about 20 minutes start to finish to unlock the ECU. Now you are going to need an MPVI 2 Plus or an MPVI 3 and the big thing is you need that little round connector there on the end. That's going to interface with the unlock module that you get from HP Tuners. Now uh, this is a pre-production unit, so if a couple things look different from the one that you get, don't freak out. It works the same. Don't forget, whenever you buy this, use our code down in the description. You get free shipping and a free deep shirt. You have to add the shirt to the shopping cart. People have been asking me, why is it not working? Add the shirt, then use the code. It'll take the price out. But that being said, some of the other things that we need to do is upgrade to the latest version of HP Tuners Beta. So it's going to be uh, necessary in order to get this module to work. Other than that, follow the instructions. You are going to have to plug this thing in on a specific fuse. It's different based on the year. Uh, we'll take a look at the instructions as we go through the process here. I'm going to fire up the laptop get the screen recorder going so you guys can see as we go through this process together. Okay, audio syncing. So I've got everything laid out here. I've got my MPVI-3. I've got my E41 upgrade kit. This is the connector that's going to screw into the back of the MPVI-3. And this is the long cable that's going to go into the engine bay and plugs into the ECM uh, fuse. So I'll let you go through this whenever you get this. Essentially, we're going to find and remove the ECM power fuse. Uh, it's got some diagrams down here towards the bottom based on what you're working on a 21. So we're looking for fuse 78. So the nice thing about it is we've only got to pull one fuse on the 17 through 19s it's one fuse but it's a three pin fuse so be aware of the direction that you put it in is important so in this case when installing the upgrade cable fuse plug the blade with the red wire should be inserted in the slot closest to the engine so 78 let's see if we can find 78 underneath the hood here we're using our little cheater diagram so this 15 amp fuse right here is going to be it. I don't know. I'm going to probably going to have to get some pliers to get that out. Okay. Come in here. Pull this fuse. Drop it in there. Get out of the way. Don't forget about my pliers. I better put them in there so I don't accidentally drive off. And we're going to take this cable, run it over our door, and then the red wire is going to go closest to the engine like so easy peasy and then we can take this module so now we're going to take this finder keyway get it lined up properly 
Might be easier to just go ahead and take this out and screw in our M8 connector. Okay, once we get the device hooked up, everything plugged in and the fuse box side of it, let's go ahead and go over to the editor and let's do read vehicle. If we gather info, it should pull in some module information in there. We're going to do read and tire. Now, whenever you're doing one of these later model vehicles, you're actually going to get a tune file off the internet. It doesn't pull it off the actual module. And here you'll see it's saying that an upgrade is required. This module requires an upgrade before it can be tuned. Uh, this will be done during the first write. This is why you need to have your credits ready to go. So please make sure to leave the unlock cable installed until the upgrade is complete. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. It's retrieving the data. This is where it says that it's pulling a stock file because the control module is not readable. We'll just call this Duramax as found. If I could type, yes, replace that one. And we're good to go. Now here's where we go in and actually upgrade the model. We're going to do the right. We'll do our show our license objects, our uh, show our license. Uh, we'll go ahead and do specific. We've got 10 credits available. It takes eight to do this. And it says, are you sure? Yes. And right calibration. Now, be prepared. This is going to take you about 20 minutes for this to get this thing completely unlocked. All kinds of weird stuff's going on, as you can tell, because that's why that fuse is in the engine bay. It's gonna go ahead and cycle power on and off to the ECU as needed to do the unlock process. So I'm gonna let this thing run its course, do its thing, and then I will update you guys whenever we're done and we have officially unlocked this. But, okay, we got about a minute left on this thing. Now, it did fail once, and honestly, I think that's because I had my key fob in my pocket and I walked away and the truck went to sleep. Don't worry, it's not gonna brick anything. These new ECUs, they've got uh, the memory, the way it works, it's not like the old ones. Just start it over. As I said, we got 30 seconds left on this, then we're gonna be done. Okay, as we wrap up now, we should get the uh, controller has been unlocked notification on here, letting us know that we are now good to go. There we go, upgrade completed successfully. VCM Suite will now perform a right and tire on your module. Please do not disconnect the upgrade cable at this time. And I can hear the uh, upgrade box over here, the relays in it kicking over and over, uh, starting and stopping the ECU. Right complete, please uninstall the upgrade cable and replace all removed fuses. Do not drive the vehicle with the upgrade cable, obviously. Okay, let's do that real quick. Okay. We ran into some issues. I'm gonna go over some things that you're gonna run into or possibly run into while doing this process. It's gonna save you some heartache. Hold on. One, make sure you have darn good internet. So don't do this like you can see. I'm way out there programming this thing and programming kept on failing, kept on failing. And whenever it fails, the ECU is dead in the water. Now, don't worry about that. That's not going to be what happens. But what does happen is it just, it doesn't have a file. So you got to get this thing loaded back up. And until I finally got in a position where I had good internet service, it wouldn't load. Now, if it does fail whenever you're loading up and it gets into the point where it's not uh, activating, do it right and tire. It's going to take about seven minutes based on how fast your internet is. But go ahead, do it right and tire, download the whole thing, and it'll recover. Everything's good to go after that. Uh, other than that, you know, a couple small just hiccups that you can work through. You're not going to brick your ECU doing this process. Don't worry about that. So, did take me a little while to get it all sorted out, get everything up and running again, but now we are licensed, unlocked, and programmable finally and good to go. So, if you have any questions, make sure hit up the comments down below. 
Let me know if you've used this process, if you ran into any hiccups, things like that. But if you follow the instruction sheet that comes with the device, you shouldn't have any issues. Just make sure that you have good uh, internet connection while you're doing this or else it will cause some frustrations. Other than that, one of the only other issues I noticed is uh, with my MPVI 3, whenever I first hooked it up with the latest beta, I had to update the firmware. That's all fine and dandy, but after that, I was getting a protocol not detected uh, whenever I was plugged in. If you start getting that, just reboot your computer. Like, for some reason, it, I just kept on having issues, but if I plug in my MPVI 2 Plus, it wouldn't give me an issue, and then it just started working. But just reboot your computer. Should go away. Other than that, get to tuning. You guys know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage. Remember, ABT always be tuning.